Sometimes I wish I could see my art from someone else's eyes, and by sometimes I mean often. I think it's pretty common for artists to look at their own work and not like what they see. When we look at our own drawings, we're not just seeing that one drawing, we're seeing the thousands that came before it. And sure, that sounds kind of whimsical and nice, but it means we're carrying the weight of all of those failures with us too every time we pick up a pencil. When you draw a face and can't get the left eye quite right, that's infuriating. But we're not mad about this one drawing, if we were, that'd be ridiculous. You made one mistake? Like, okay bro, calm down, it's really not that big of a deal. But it really feels like a big deal, right? Because it's not about this drawing, it's about all the times you failed before. I should be better than this by now. Why is this so hard for me, but so much easier for everybody else? This is why it's frustrating. It's not about what's on the page, at all. It feels like if I could just see my art through someone else's eyes, then there I'd find the answer. Then I'd know if my drawings are actually as bad as I see them, or if they look fine to other people. The thing is, on the one hand, it doesn't even matter, and on the other, I kind of already know the answer. It only matters how my art looks to other people if other people's judgement is even relevant, right? And ultimately, I want to be making the stuff that I want to make, so it shouldn't matter how other people see it, yeah? So the kind of obvious answer here is your art looks good to some people and bad to others, which isn't a satisfying answer, so let's build upon that. If someone's below your quote unquote skill level, then they probably won't see the flaws in your work. So if you could see your work through their eyes, your art probably looks amazing, but that's not really what you're after, is it? You've probably moved the goalposts a little bit by now. If someone's at about the same skill level as you, they can probably see some of the flaws, but overall think your art is good. The same as when you look at other people's drawings, right? But no, that's not what we're after either. I want to know how good is my art actually? Am I justified in feeling crap about my work? If someone's way above your skill level, then probably they can pull apart all the flaws in your work. That arm's slightly too long, the composition's a bit cluttered. Like, okay, great, I've heard what I'm after now, I knew it, my art really does suck. But. Uh, look man, I don't know how to tell you this, have you ever looked really closely at Kim jong Gi's work? He made plenty of mistakes too, the same as all the rest of us, and that didn't seem to impact how he felt about making art, right? Here's an example, here's another. He probably made more mistakes and had more failures than just about any other artist out there, it's how he got to be so damn good. Even Kim jong Gi made mistakes, and a lot of them but it didn't seem to make him feel all crappy about it. And that's probably because he didn't carry the weight of all the previous failures with him every time he sat down to draw. If he made a mistake, it was just one mistake. No big deal, just adjust next time and let's see if we can do better. But now we're kind of back to square one, right? I still feel like crap, so what's the solution? Just don't? Okay, great. I think that when you're pleading to see your art through someone else's eyes, or at least for me, it's because you don't want to sit with those underlying emotions that are making you feel like crap. And I don't know what it is that's making art difficult for you, this is where you'll have to dig into it for yourself, but for me at least, there's a few things that are usually at play here. I really don't want to go back to retail and working for other people, I despise it more than I can put into words. When I make a bad drawing, it pokes at the fear a little bit that maybe I'm not quite free from that retail hellscape just yet, and might have to go back if I can't make a career out of art yet. I also really want to go out and meet new people to make artist friends, and if I'm bad at drawing then ah, what are they gonna think of me? They're probably gonna think I'm crap because my art's crap. <laughs> Some of the stuff that'll come up is just ridiculous, obviously, but it's only once you've said it out loud or written it down that you can see it for what it really is. Like you see the through line here, right? I'm mad about a drawing because I'm worried about what potential future friends might think of me. To say that this is silly is a gargantuan understatement. That anxiety is so massively blown out of proportion here, and I'm getting mad about a drawing because of it. I don't know man, this stuff's hard, I'm still working it all out, but the artist journey is absolutely a mental health one more than it's a practical skills one. So um, there's today's art pep talk, and good luck with your own journey, goodbye!